In this video, I'll walk you through creating a power plan. Let me begin by adding spaces to the plan, which will be used to quickly lay out the power devices. The Project Navigator feature of AutoCAD MEP works like a repository for all the project files. After selecting the file, I can simply drag it into the current drawing. Now I can place the device. While placing the device, AutoCAD MEP allows me to choose the method of layout by specifying it in the Properties palette. Choose Quantity Around Space. This will place the specified number of devices around the selected space. Next, assign the circuit in the Properties palette. Once done, I can select the space and all the devices are automatically placed. I also noticed one device is placed just in front of the door. I can choose to relocate it or simply delete it. Notice that Circuit Manager is warning me about the total load exceeding 80% of the defined rating. This is a major benefit as it provides instant feedback on the design. I can cancel the task or continue. In this case, I'll continue. Let me use the Add Wire option to connect the devices. Like other electrical objects, I can assign multiple properties like the style, system, and circuit right inside the Properties palette. Once I'm done with the settings, I can start adding the wire by selecting the devices using MEP-specific O-snaps. These O-snaps not only ensure that drafting standards are met, but also ensure that devices are connected accurately. Finally, let me take a look at the Circuit Manager so that I can understand the impact of the load on the circuit. Notice that AutoCAD MEP Circuit Manager is also providing me with visual feedback by highlighting the circuit details in red. This visual feedback can be a real help when you have